everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. I'm a vegan foodie traveler. This is my first vlog in London. I will be showing you all the cool places and the delicious vegan food I ate. Oh, oh yeah, because it's still bright. Yeah. <laughs> this vlog is a continuation of my previous Bangkok trip with John and Chris. Made it to London after 12 hours, 13 hours of flight. Ooh, made it here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I need coffee to survive today. Pratt offers a 30 pounds monthly subscription where you can get up to 5 drinks per day. It is such a steal, especially if you are a heavy coffee drinker like I am. Really good soy milk. Mm. That's you're cute. You're supposed to wear it in the front, but I feel like that's weird. <laughs> so we just got to London, it's our first morning here. It is still only 8am, so many places aren't open yet. But I'm loving the colorful and aesthetic streets already. John and Chris are very familiar with London, so I'm just following their lead. Because I know wherever they take me to, I will enjoy it. If you are a Potterhead, you should not miss Goodwin's Court. A magical narrow passageway that captures the vibe of Diagon Alley or some even say Nocturne Alley. Growing up as a Harry Potter fan to now being physically in London and wandering through the streets, it feels like a dream come true. You can spot many iconic fictional character statues at Leicester Square. Then we continue walking towards Piccadilly Circus, a famous intersection known as the London's equivalent to New York's Times Square. So this is half square and New York. And here's the screens behind you. Oh, a oh, a little Times Square. And at night, there's always people dancing here, having a good time. Besides the aesthetic, I also love how clean and safe London is. It's the total opposite of New York City. For my second cup from Pratt, I got their matcha soy latte. It's pretty decent. We're gonna go visit our great friends in St. James Park. St. James Park is a royal park that is home to a variety of wild birds, including ducks, swans, and pelicans. They're not afraid of people at all. It really amazes me since I don't get to see sights like this in my hometown Jakarta. Right next to St. James Park is the tourist hotspot where the Big Ben is. I heard you can actually go inside, but you need to book in advance. Oh, we can go to the Instagram spot. Instagram spot. Secret Instagram. Okay. So there's this cool spot under the bridge where you can get a nice shot with beautiful background and frame. As we walk along the south bank, fascinating sights unfold. There's a merry-go-round, an urban skate park, a book market with hidden treasures. There's even a mini beach in the middle of the city. The most interesting sight to me is the Millennium Bridge that was attacked by the Death Eaters in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It is finally time for our first meal in London. So we make our way to the famous Boro Market. Borough Market Borough Market is a bustling and diverse food market nestled under the railway arches. It offers a sensory feast with its spices, fresh produce, and international culinary. Oh my god, it smells good. John and Chris recommend this Indian street food spot called Horn OK Place. Their signature dish is the Mung Dal Dosa. The dosa is made with rice, spices, and mung dal, which is split mung beans. It is filled with flavorful masala potatoes and comes with a tangy chickpea salad. The crunchy wrap contrasts nicely with the warm and soft potatoes, and the mix of herbs and spices brings it all together. It's good. Then we stroll around the market for a bit and find so many vegan options. 
Next, we are heading to Notting Hill, so this is my first tube experience. My first impression of the tube is that it's very clean compared to NYC subway system. I'm sipping on my third cup of Pratt in Notting Hill. Notting Hill is a neighborhood famous for its colorful houses in pastel shades and the lively weekend market along Portobello Road. We're here in Notting Hill. And we're gonna go get a red bus and we're to the market. Portobello Road Market was originally a fresh food market in the 19th century. It has evolved into one of the world's largest antiques markets today. It is the busiest on Saturdays with over 1,000 stalls selling diverse goods, from street food, vintage clothing, to rare books. Get ready to smell. The market also gained international fame through its appearance in the film Notting Hill starring Julia Roberts, attracting visitors from all around the world. While we're looking around here, a pickpocket almost stole my passport pouch. Luckily, I caught on in time and managed to grab it back. So please keep an eye out on your belongings when you're in crowded space. Anyway, for lunch, I'm trying something I've never tried before, arepa. A gluten-free Peruvian street food. The wrap is made from ground corn flour. It is filled with quinoa, maca, plantains, avocado, beans, veggies, and a mild spice sauce. It is a quick, nutritious, and satisfying meal. After Notting Hill, we are jumping on my first London Red bus to head to Kempton Town, another must-visit hip neighborhood. Similar to Notting Hill, Kempton Market started as a small arts and craft fair in the 1970s. Now it is one of the most diverse markets globally. There is the picturesque Regent's Canal that offers boat trips. Then we pass by this vegan junk food chain, so my fat ass decided to grab some snack. I'm impressed by these nuggets. They taste like real chicken. Campton is also known for its alternative culture. It has been a gathering place for artists, musicians, and free spirits, fostering a unique and creative atmosphere. One of the shops you must stop by in Campton is Cyberdog. This is a one-of-a-kind trippy shop that blends futuristic aesthetics and electronic music. It is perfect for those who are seeking bold rave outfits and unconventional fashion. This feels more like a museum than a clothing shop. Campton has numerous shops ideal for picking up souvenirs. And it's so fascinating to see my favorite anime, Demon Slayer, being so popular here. I couldn't resist picking up this big jar of CBD gummies, cause why not? I really like the... <laughs> oh, all the celebrities, wow. <laughs> Shopping in Kempton is genuinely an eclectic and delightful experience. It is finally time for dinner. John and Chris are taking me to their number one favorite pizza spot in the world, Purizza. Fair and blue. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Parmesan. This is our favorite pizza shop. I'm bad at this. For the longest time, I thought no other vegan pizza could beat Virtuous Pie in Vancouver. But Purizza did it. Mm. I like this. Yeah. It's unique. Yeah. It's very wow. It is also now my number one favorite pizza spot in the world. After dinner, we take a peaceful stroll by the waterside heading back to our hotel. I really cherish calm long walks like this. Doing it with John and Chris who share a similar travel style makes it even more special. Would you live on one? This motion sickness? Oh. Walking or using public transportation is my preferred way to explore a new city. It allows me to soak in the local vibes that I can't experience from inside a car. I love how each borough has its unique charm. My number one favorite spot out of all the places we've been to so far is Cold Drops Yard. 
I love the chill open space vibe and it doesn't feel touristy at all. If I ever moved to London, staying in this area would be a dream. Our next stop is the St. Pancras Renaissance Hotel. We are here to admire the beautiful grand staircase. It is truly spectacular. My phone camera doesn't do it justice. It has been used as backdrop for films and events. The most iconic one is Spice Girls' wannabe music video. Right next to St. Pancras is King's Cross Station, home to the magical platform 9 and 3 quarters. Visitors can line up to take photos as if they're running through the wall. So that wraps up our first day in London, packed with so many cool places. We walked almost 40k steps in one day and I did not feel tired at all. This is only the first day of my two-month UK trip, so please stay tuned for more London travel content. Don't forget to like and subscribe! See you!